The beta version of the Approach Score feature in IQ Pro is a post-flight evaluation tool designed to help you hone and improve your landing skills. After each flight, your approach and landing is first scored as either stable or unstable and is then assigned an overall percent qualitative score, calculating a composite set of weighted factors that IQ Pro captures during your flight. Now here's how it works. First, for any approach score to be accurate, you must take care to input your actual weight and balance values for that day's flight. That calculation will be used to synthesize specific approach and touchdown scorable speed targets for your flight. Without good weight and balance input, your scores just won't be accurate. Additionally, for IQ to calculate an approach score, your runway of intended landing must serve an airport for which there exists sufficient airport and runway data in the IQ database. As you approach for landing, understand that IQ will predicate scoring based off your ability to adhere to the published glide slope for that runway. And what that means is that you should plan your approach to coincide as closely as possible with available visual approach path indicators such as a PAPI or VASI to ensure you're synced as closely as you can be with the proper glide slope used for scoring. Throughout your approach and landing, you'll be scored on these factors and their associated scoring weights. Configuration, meaning have you properly configured your flaps prior to reaching 500 feet AGL? Well, if you haven't, your approach will be considered by default as unstable. Airspeed at 50 feet AGL. Now that's your V-REF speed calibrated for that specific flight by your input weight and balance. Airspeed at touchdown. That airspeed is targeted based on weight calibrated, stall speed plus five knots if you're in the vision jet and plus four knots for SR series aircraft. Glide path. Based off the visual glide slope indicator data for that runway, scored for the final approach all the way down to 50 feet AGL. Finally, lateral alignment. Past 300 feet AGL and all the way down to 50 feet AGL, are you on center line? Your final score can be viewed in IQ Pro by going to Utilization, selecting the flight you want to review, and scrolling down to the Approach Score tab. Then twirl the card down to reveal each approach and landing factor individually to better understand what affected the stable unstable tag as well as the overall percent composite score. As your flying progresses, IQ Pro's approach score can be used to track your approach and landing skills progression and to constructively augment post-flight discussions with your Cirrus standardized instructor pilot. And while approach score is never a substitute for actual flight instruction and procedural knowledge, consider it a personalized tracking tool to provide you with data-driven insights that'll help you drive behavioral changes as you continuously improve as a Cirrus pilot.